guys what up welcome back to my youtube channel and today's tutorial is how to make the thunder effects with vegas pro 18. now you don't need any plugins and if you're using the older version of vegas pro you should be able to follow along with this tutorial all right so here i have a video in my timeline it's a video of my friends walking down the stairs and i shot this handheld with my camera nothing crazy so to make the thunder effects, uh, it's pretty simple. Now, before that, thunder only lasts split seconds. So that means in editing, it only lasts about one to two frames. So it's very short and it's very easy to execute or recreate these thunder effects. All right. So uh, the first thing that you want to do is to find which part of, of your video you want the effects to take place. So maybe I want the thunder to take place at this moment here. So I'm going to add a marker on my video here or in my timeline. Just press on your, on your keyboard and move a bit forward. Maybe at this time here, I want the thunder to take place again and add another marker uh, just for guidance or reference, I would say. All right. So the next thing that you want to do is to duplicate the video. So I'm just going to duplicate the track. So add the video above. So we have two video here and then you want to make a cut based on this marker here. So press S on your keyboard to make a split. Then go to the first marker here and you want to move two frame forward and make another cut or split I'll say. And do the same thing for the second marker. Two frame forward and make a split. So let's delete this long portion here because we don't need them so we only have these two part here above our video here all right so next thing that you want to do is to add an effects which is color curve effects here all right just go to your video effects tab press color tab and click color curve just drag and drop it into one of this uh part here that we have made a cut here and just slightly increase the bottom part here which we are adding sort of a brightness here All right for the next one here instead of adding again you can just copy and paste attributes and it should paste the same effects All right so let's go to the first one here and you want to click the pen and crop so what you want to do is to make a mask on the sky. So let's go to the first keyframe of the mask. Make sure you enable the mask and use the oval shape here and make a oval shape. All right. Just make something like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right. And make sure it's on the sky. All right. Which is on the buff on your, of your video. Now, obviously it doesn't look real. It looks funny. That's because we haven't finished. So next, what you want to do is to make a feather, which you want to select the feather type to both and the feathering will be around 30%. There you go. Next, you want to move one keyframe forward or one frame forward. And you just want to move the oval mass around. It doesn't really matter where you want to put it, left, right, bottom, smaller. It's all up to you. Maybe this time I want to make it smaller. And that's it. So if I play, you should able to see the thunder effect take place. All right. It's very subtle, but it does sell off the effects very well. And same goes to the second one here. 
pen and crop enable mask make a uh, use the oval shape here roughly make the shapes better type to both 30 percent and then one frame forward let's move it to the, this side here this time and you should have the effect to take place all right pretty simple nothing crazy so that's how you do the thunder effect with vegas pro 18 and if you have any question related you can leave it down in the comment section and i'll try my best to help you guys out so see you guys next time